Trading Over the Counter, OTC. Trading Over the Counter, OTC, involves transactions that occur via a network of dealers as opposed to on a centralized exchange. The OTC market provides a platform for companies that cannot list on a standard exchange to still sell shares. In this video, we'll explore the nuances of OTC trading, its advantages, risks, and provide real-world examples to illustrate the concept more clearly. Understanding Over-the-Counter Trading Over-the-counter markets are decentralized platforms where securities not only stocks, but also currencies, commodities, and derivatives are traded directly between two parties. In the context of securities, it involves the exchange of publicly traded shares that aren't listed on a formal exchange like the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, or NASDAQ. These transactions are facilitated through a network of brokers and dealers who negotiate terms privately. Unlike traditional exchanges, which have physical locations where transactions are carried out, OTC trading is largely conducted electronically. Examples of OTC trading Penny stocks These are stocks usually issued by small, less established companies and often traded OTC. For example, a local food store chain might decide to raise capital by issuing shares, but it may not meet the requirements of a recognized stock exchange. It can sell its stocks over the counter. Penny stocks are typically priced low often under $5 per share and are thus attractive to investors willing to take high risks for potentially substantial returns. Forex trading. The foreign exchange, Forex, market is the largest OTC market in the world. When someone exchanges US dollars for euros, for example, this transaction occurs over the counter. The Forex market is entirely decentralized with no central exchange and trading happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Advantages of OTC trading. Greater flexibility. OTC trading offers more flexibility than standard exchanges. Parties can customize the terms of their transactions to suit their needs, rather than adhere to the standardized terms imposed by regular exchanges. Availability and Accessibility OTC markets are usually more accessible than standard exchanges and have fewer restrictions on trading. This makes them particularly important for smaller companies or countries with developing financial markets. Extended Trading Hours Unlike traditional exchanges that operate within specific hours, OTC trading can be carried out at almost any time, provided you can find a willing counterparty. Risks associated with OTC trading While the advantages may seem appealing, it's crucial to also consider the risks associated with OTC trading. Lack of transparency As OTC trades are done privately, there's less transparency compared to traditional exchanges. This lack of transparency can make it more challenging to establish a fair market price. Counterparty risk In OTC markets, there's a greater risk that the counterparty may default on their obligations, as these transactions aren't backed by an exchange. This is a significant risk, particularly in derivatives trading. Less regulation As OTC markets are less regulated than standard exchanges, there's a greater risk of fraud and misconduct. Real-world example of OTC trading Consider the case of Company A, a small biotech startup that has developed a promising new drug. The company needs to raise capital for further research and development but is too small to meet the listing requirements of the NYSE or NASDAQ. Instead, it opts to sell shares over the counter. An investor, John, is interested in investing in early-stage biotech companies. He sees potential in Company A and decides to buy shares. He contacts his broker, who in turn contacts a dealer representing Company A. They negotiate the price, and the shares are transferred from the company to John. The transaction doesn't happen in an instant as it might on a traditional exchange. Instead, it may take some time for the broker and dealer to agree on the terms and for the shares to be transferred. This is a key characteristic of OTC trading. It's a more manual, hands-on process than exchange trading, which can lead to slower transaction times. Nevertheless, the OTC market provides an avenue for John to invest directly in a company he believes in, even though it's not listed on a standard exchange. This shows how OTC markets can offer opportunities to investors that might not be available through traditional channels. 
Training over-the-counter OTC, provides a valuable platform for companies and traders alike. For businesses, it allows access to capital without the stringent requirements of traditional exchanges. For investors, it offers unique opportunities to invest in a broader range of assets and a more flexible way of trading. However, the potential advantages of OTC trading come with significant risks. Lower regulation and transparency levels can make it a dangerous market for the uninformed. Therefore, thorough due diligence is necessary before venturing into OTC trading. Given the complexity and risks associated with OTC trading, it's often recommended to engage with financial advisors or professionals with significant expertise in OTC markets. Their knowledge and experience can be instrumental in navigating this intricate and potentially rewarding financial landscape. An interesting fact about over-the-counter OTC trading is that the Forex foreign exchange market, which is the largest financial market in the world, operates primarily as an OTC market. According to the Bank for International Settlements, the Forex market sees an average daily turnover of over $6.6 .6 trillion as of April 2021, most of which is OTC transactions. This includes currency swaps, spot trades, and outright forwards. It's a perfect example of the scale and importance of OTC trading in the global financial system.